Earth science is really interesting. It's a very hands-on, very practical science. It is actually broken into four distinct sciences. They are geology, astronomy, meteorology, and oceanography. First, we have geology. Geo means Earth, so this is literally the study of the Earth. More specifically, it's the study of Earth's physical structure, structure, history, and the processes that act on it. So it's the minerals we see in these images, it's the, the uh, waterfall that is eroding through those rocks, it's the volcano in the far left, and it's the sedimentary layers in the bottom right. This is actually my favorite of the sciences, um, and uh, what we will spend the most amount of time on this school year. Astronomy is the second of the Earth sciences. Astronomy, from astro, which means star, but it's the study of the entire material universe beyond Earth's atmosphere. So it's not Earth itself, as far as we define it in Earth science. It's actually everything beyond our atmosphere. So it's the galaxy we see in this image to the top right. It's uh, the sun. It's uh, supernova, it's the evolution of stars, it's everything from the Big Bang and the formation of the universe, to the formation of the solar system, the evolution of stars, all of the planets in our solar system and beyond, and it's also um, our moon, it's the satellites and telescopes and instruments and probes and rovers that we use to explore space. Meteorology is probably the one that's hardest for people to remember. Because if you look at it, it looks like you're studying meteors, but it's not. Meteoro actually comes from the Greek and it means sky. A meteor is the streak of light you see in, a, in the sky when a piece of debris falls through our atmosphere and burns up. So meteorology is actually the study of Earth's atmosphere and our weather and climate, everything that takes place in that gaseous layer surrounding the Earth. So it's this lovely but terrifyingly huge uh, hurricane we see in the top right, approaching Florida. It's lightning, it's clouds, it's the it's tools we use to study uh, the atmosphere and weather, like this anemometer and uh, wind vane we see in the bottom left. It's why we have deserts. It's why the poles are so cold and the equator is relatively hot. So it's a really interesting science and you learn a lot about this science and come to a realization as to why the weatherman isn't always incredibly right. Finally, we have oceanography, which is probably the easiest to remember what it deals with because it's the study of Earth's oceans. It includes the landforms on the ocean floor, the ocean currents, and how the ocean influences our weather, which is a large part of oceanography. In the bottom right here we have Alvin. Alvin is a submersible that has actually taught us a great deal about the ocean floor. And this is a diagram of the ocean floor that we see here. Everything from the edge of the continent and the continental shelf to the mid-ocean ridge, which we'll also deal with in plate tectonics, and trenches, and ocean arcs. Um, really interesting things about the ocean floor. And then we have the ocean currents here in the bottom left. To wrap things up, geology is the study of the solid Earth. Astronomy is the study of space. Meteorology is the study of Earth's atmosphere and oceanography is the study of the ocean. And these are where the images were found for this video.